Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What Sold video for you today. It is Friday and we're gonna follow Kathy around to see what sold for us. And I think today was a pretty good day for us. Yeah, it really was. Um, I just saw I had a sale come in that I don't have a label for, so I'll just pull that first. Oh, we're already disrupting the Reese. He does not even care. <laughs> <laughs> you good boy. You stay there. To see you. I believe I just listed these yesterday, and they were getting a lot of likes on all platforms. Um, these are those Vagabond sandals, or however you say that. Right. Um, I kind of picked these up on a whim. They were just in really good shape. I know platform-type shoes have been doing well for me, so... Yeah, I just gave him a chance and I'm glad I did. So I paid $9.99 for these at a Goodwill and I sold them just now for $49.95 plus shipping in one day. <laughs> so nice. really good. Um, I don't know if it's all, all of this brand or if these are just a good style. I don't know, but I would probably take a chance on them again <laughs> if I found a pair, so. And yeah, that sale came in just as I started recording <laughs> and then I had to redo the intro, so. <laughs> That's why there's no label for it yet, or... Yep. But um, yeah. And then this sale is technically Christmas sale. Do I made a sale, guys! <laughs> well, I did list she it. She photographed it <laughs> again. And listed it. <laughs> so... I drafted it. He drafted it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this Mario game he just grabbed at that new thrift store for $1.99, and we sold it for $24.95 plus shipping. We probably listed it last night at midnight. Yeah. And it was pretty much sold by 10 a.m. this morning, so... Mario, look for Mario stuff. Oh, and then I was, I asked on my Instagram stories just because I was curious. Um, we don't do a ton of games and stuff, so. Yet? Yes, but we want to, so <laughs> like, I paid for a padded, well, I just paid for an 8-ounce label. The game's 5 ounces. Um, if I wanted to put it in a box, I'd have to pay for like a 12-ounce label because it would, the box would be heavy to where it'd be over 8. So, what do you guys do? Do you put your games in a box? Do you put them in a padded mailer? Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Most people were saying padded mailer, but a handful of people were saying box. So I guess we'll learn our lesson if it gets damaged yeah. or anything in shipment. But luckily, it's a pretty cheap yeah. lesson. If it's an older game, but it's it's not super valuable, right? It's right. 25 so technically bucks. Technically, if anything happens to the game, we only really lose out on the $2 we spent and then like $3 we spent on shipping. So right. it's not a huge loss. But yeah, let us know what you do for video games or... CDs, um, media, DVDs, DVDs. Devia. 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 I think I messed you up on that one. All right. So these are some little girl Ugg boots. Um, they're like a patent leather, almost like a rain boot. I grabbed these at Once Upon a Child for 10. I sold them on Facebook Marketplace for 25 plus shipping. BV. I actually sold another one of these khaki pants that we sold yesterday. It's so random. I've had them for over a year and then I sell two pairs in a day. <laughs> random. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> but these ones sold even less than the last pair. These ones sold for $10.25 plus shipping, but again, $2 into them and we have sold others around the $20 plus shipping range. Yeah. So after it's all said and done, I probably will make one to 200 bucks profit off all of them and didn't take very much work at all. All right, hold up real quick. All right, sorry guys, had to close the window. Our neighbor is mowing his lawn. Darn neighbor. Yeah. I didn't even, I don't notice sounds like Chris is always like, you hear that sound? <laughs> we have to close the window because of the sound. I'm like, I don't hear any sounds. Like to me, those are just neighborhood sounds and I like, I like sounds coming through the window. It feels like other people are around, so. <laughs> are some Reebok like a steel toe work shoe so these sold on eBay for $36.35 plus shipping and I have $9.99 into them I need to check what that message was I feel like that was like a cancellation oh. request or something. Nope. it's just Mercari saying they're sending my money <laughs> you always um, think the worst huh? right I do <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much a Debbie Downer all right if your name's Debbie, I don't mean you're a Debbie Downer. Just, <laughs> you know, Chatty, Kathy, Debbie Downer, Karen, all sorts of names. Yeah. Um, so these, I kind of took a chance on because they were cheap at the thrift, um, but there were several pairs. I think they're just like military issue and either they had extra or people just didn't want their military issue boots. So these are just Bates. Um, 
but they were only $5.50, so I took a chance on them. And I'm glad I only grabbed one pair. They took a while to sell, and they just sold for $25 plus shipping, so not great. Yeah. I mean, not horrible, but... I mean, I'm not excited about them. They, they're they not like a cool brand that people are looking out for, so I probably would not pick them up again. And there's probably millions of them, and yeah. they get them all for free so. anyway, so. Yep. All right, and then I sold these Olakai's I listed last night. So I sold a similar pair just a few days ago, and I actually have one more pair listed. Uh, these ones I listed on eBay for $39.95 plus ship, and they sold full price in just a couple hours. The other pair I listed at $50 plus ship, Mostly because I didn't notice this when I bought these. It has some like cracking on the oh, yeah. rubber, which I showed pictures of, but otherwise they are in great shape. They didn't look hardly worn. So I had paid $12.99 for these, so I'm glad they did sell and I didn't have to take a loss. Um, so yeah, $12.99 into $40 plus shipping. And then these also got listed last night and already sold. So these are Hey Dude shoes. So I had heard I'd heard about the brand, but I've only, I, I would say I found it three times, but this is the only time I could grab it because the others were just really, really worn out by the time I found them. But these, they only, when I was looking up comps and like looking up retail price and everything, it seems that they only retail for 55, but comps on pre-owned were like 40 to 50. So hmm. I listed mine at 49.95 free ship. These are only about nine ounces. So I knew shipping was only going to be about $4 on them. And yeah, they sold them one day for 45 free shipping on eBay. So really I nice. paid $7.99 for them. So really good sale. And yeah, shipping was only $4.38. So. Love the super quick sales. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely look out for that brand. I think it's just a comfort shoe that people like to throw on in the summer and stuff. So I'll definitely be looking out for more. Right. And then I sold these Nike Fly Knits on eBay. I have $9.99 into these. So when we were doing one of our videos recently, I saw these in a box and my mind was like, I don't, I remember photographing them, but I don't remember ever listing them. So hmm. pulled them out, got them re-photographed because I could not find the photos of them and listed them. And they sold fairly quickly after that. So $54.55 plus shipping on those. So always look out for Nike Fly Knit stuff. All right, and then. I just listed these yesterday too. I, I'm telling you, shoes are really good. So these are some little freshly picked moccasins. I actually got these from ThreadUp um, for $7 and some change on ThreadUp. And yeah, I had these in my favorites for a while. They had the price, I think it was like $14.99 at first or something, but they kept lowering it and then they had like a coupon or something. So I got them for seven and some change and sold them for $30 plus shipping on Mercari today. So. Freshly Picked is one of those good bolo brands to look out for. Yeah, um, yeah. if they're in good shape. <laughs> yeah. I have a couple pairs that were pretty rough and those took a while to sell and only sold for like $15, so yeah. All right, and then AJ. Another pair I listed yesterday. These are some Choco sandals. <laughs> Uh, what was I? I wanted to mention something about these. Oh, right. Um, so as I was listening, I remembered there's like, so if you know about Chacos, like the sizing's on the heel. But what I was trying to say is like, so these have dashes. So dashes means wide width. Um, and then I listed a second pair at the same time. Those ones had dots. So the dots is just a standard width. So if you did not know that, now you know. So yeah, these were in a size eight wide women's and they sold for $56 plus shipping on Mercari. I have $18 into them though. Goodwill was <laughs> very <laughs> overpriced. I, I mean, I'm proud of them. <laughs> overpriced as in like, I don't know. They're they probably gonna they keep pricing selling. stuff if I'm buying it for $18, but <laughs> I knew I could still make some good money off of those. So. Yeah, and that dash and dot tip, I think yeah. we actually got that from a viewer, and yeah. I don't remember who. I Sorry. know someone told us, yeah. Yeah, but that's <laughs> what I love about YouTube. Yeah, one <laughs> like, time I, I remember buying a pair for myself of Chacos, yeah. and I thought they were so uncomfortable, and my foot did not seem like it fit on the thing at all, and then somebody did mention they do have wide widths, but even still, I just... It wasn't so much the footbed. I was just like, these straps, Uncomfy. like rubbing on my feet is so uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know how people love these shoes. Like people love these shoes, but. 
Yeah. I don't love them. <laughs> so. But we do get the question sometimes, why do we do YouTube? Uh, not sometimes. We've gotten that question like maybe once or twice. <laughs> but this is why, you know, like we learn too. We learn from you guys yep. probably just as much or more than you guys learn from us. And yep. we appreciate that. <laughs> And if Before you, yeah. I started watching YouTube, I don't think I'd heard of any of these brands. I mean, other than maybe like UGG, Nike, but like yeah. even Chaco. I yeah. mean, Reeboks, obviously a normal brand, but I only picked those up because they're like steel toe. So people talked about steel toe and work boots, things like that, selling for good money. So yeah, I've learned yeah. so much. <laughs> Um, so these little Converse sold on Facebook Marketplace for 15 plus shipping, and I have $4.99 into those from a Goodwill. Top shelf Starbucks mug. So, oh no, yeah, it's over there. This guy is just something I bought for myself to <laughs> sit up here. I just love grumpy stuff. I can't reach. It's the, the um, the Taiwan with the bear. <laughs> not that one. Yeah, not that one. <laughs> yep. All right, Grump, you gotta go back up there. Keep those mugs grumpy. <laughs> He's mean mugging with the mugs. <laughs> Um, so this guy, same as last time, I just picked him up at for 99 cents, thinking I was going to sell him for about $25, $30 a piece, and just didn't happen. I think one of them sold for a higher price, but uh, the other two sold for $12 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. But still, not too bad. I mean, a mug is super easy to list, Yeah. and a dollar into $12 is still pretty good to me. What is this in my hand? Oh, so something was up there. <laughs> All right, uh. B Converse. So these yellow Converse we actually picked up in Nebraska, but I just listed them a couple days ago, um, mostly because I did throw them in the wash, but the canvas, it was still pretty stained even after that. And the lace, what are those, aglets or something? Aglets. The aglet is missing on this <laughs> one. So I priced them pretty low, $12 plus shipping. Um, they were over a pound, so the buyer did have to pay $9 shipping on Facebook. So they still were all in like 22 bucks for these. And I did pay $3.99 for them. So not a huge profit. I think I made five or six dollars. But if they didn't sell, I was gonna keep them for my kids. So it wasn't gonna be a loss either way. So all these freaking stocks on Facebook for $40 plus shipping. I had them listed at $49. Buyer asked if I'd take 40 and I just said yes because I paid $7.99 for them and I knew it'd be about a $30 profit. So I was happy with that. I do think I probably could have got another $10, $15 for them if I waited it out, but I like to move stuff. We like that money. Yes, <laughs> we like that cash flow. All right, BV. Right, so these Brooks men's shoes sold on Poshmark for I accepted an offer of 38 I had them listed high just because Brooks I never know I've sold some at 30 I've sold some at 70 it's just yeah. I never know the men's ones seem to do better so I listed them high and I accepted the $38 offer because I had $9.99 into them and because I don't know if you can tell on camera but I don't know they just had a little bit of discoloration on this area like mm. these looks more yellow than the white so. I thought it was a good deal for the buyer and for me. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, BS. Can't wait till these are all sold and I, I don't have to do this every <laughs> time. The... All right, sold another one of these Cabana Life swimsuits for $30, $36 with discount shipping on Poshmark. And again, I have $10 into each of these. All right, CS. I think these might have been the last pair of my 65 pair day. Um, oh. Which is funny because these are actually women's, but they were just at the Once Upon a Child. So it's just funny that the women's ones are the ones that took the right. ones to sell. I thought these would sell fairly quickly. They're just Skechers, but they're kind of like an Allbird copycat. Like they're like wool running shoes, basically. Speaking of, I'm sure you guys have all heard the Allbirds drama. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm still going to pick them up and list them on all the other platforms. They still are a great shoe and... 
they still, I'm sure, will sell well on other platforms, but... And if you didn't hear about the drama, Allbirds went through and Vero'd basically every single Allbirds listing. Yeah. And one of ours, so. which was already sold and delivered and all this, and they deleted it and all... <laughs> which doesn't make sense, it, it's, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think we got any money taken away. I checked all of our, like, spreadsheets. Right. Or not our spreadsheets. Our transactions. Like eBay's transaction history, and they didn't seem to, like, take the money But back, it's like, so. what gives, you know? <laughs> right, like, what annoys me the most about it is, like... Okay, that I know like pretty much all the Vero's, but that wasn't one of them and right. they don't they didn't give any communication to say, Oh, this is a Vero now, take your listings down by this date or whatever. Right. Like I just don't get how they can just add stuff whenever. Cause then they could just do that tomorrow on Hunter Boots or yeah. Bob's boots. Like you gotta tell your sellers. And Drew over at Profit Monsters did put out a good video. I actually haven't seen it. You've seen it though? Yep. And I think he's been kind of messaging back and forth with them too. Yeah. Because, like, Allbirds is saying, no, we're not doing that, and eBay's saying they are, and yeah. so it's just kind of... Somebody's not right telling now, the so. truth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, but, yeah, so just don't list your Allbirds on eBay in the meantime until yeah. that's all sorted out. And, and if you want more info, go check out Drew's video. Yeah, Drew, I think, actually got a three-day suspension, probably because yeah. he's had a previous one for, it seemed like, some other stupid thing. Right. But I don't think we have before, so we just got a warning. It said, since you didn't know, yeah, nobody knew. <laughs> like, <laughs> of course we didn't know. You didn't even know, right. guys. Come so, on. They still anyways. don't know what's going on. <laughs> so these Skechers sold on Poshmark for $20. That was an offer I accepted, and I had about $4 and change into those from the 65 pair days. So, yeah. If I ever get a minute to do anything, yeah, we do I'll want to, do a to recap kind of calculate video. all that because that, I know I made a good amount from that day and I knew basically it was eight hours of work that I did. And even though the items that I was selling were kind of small profits, mostly between eight to $15, it was 65 of them right. so that I did all in an eight hour time period. So kind of wanted to just, just divide it all out and see kind of what I made hourly to do that. If you haven't seen that video, I will put it here so you can go check it out. It is pretty cool. She got 65 pairs sourced and listed in one eight hour work day. Yeah. Although it was like two days, yeah. but it was eight hours worth <laughs> yeah. of work. I was keeping track of the time. Like I know I almost never get an actual eight hour work day. So right. we do do work on the weekends too, but not like a full day. Just, yeah. you know, we do shipping. We try to list a few items and answer messages, but. Yeah. All right, last sale today so far is the Silver Tab Baggy Jeans. They sold on Poshmark for my full list price, which was $50. I got these the same day as all those Harley shirts, so my average cost of goods was ten sixty seven on those. All right. Yeah. So yeah, pretty, pretty good day of sales. We're gonna go ahead and get this stuff packed up and we'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, got everything all packed up and ready for a thumbnail pick. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have any more sales come in or nothing, so I don't know. Is that gonna do it? We gotta. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say we did how I said a few days ago. I'd hope to get seventy up by Thursday, and we did seventy-one. So yeah. this is evidence of it that all the sales that are coming in and seventy-one yeah. for the week so far. And um, this morning, well, before we started recording, I photographed another because I still want to be at a hundred for the week but we're a little bit busy this evening, so maybe yeah. tomorrow, it, even though it's Saturday. I photographed 31 more items, so if I can get those listed, I know I can, I don't know if I will. <laughs> um, we'll be at our hundreds, so yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to run, get the stuff off to the post office, and pick up Connor from STEM Camp. And we got to be there in like 20 minutes. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.